Hi, let's have a look at this Microsoft Power Automate community thread. So the user asking here is how to extract the text from an email body. So this is the fixed format of the email body. So from here, we need to extract certain values like F2, 2Q2 and ABC Inc. 420 so that later on, you know, uh, it need to be passed into a database or Excel sheet or wherever we want to map it and write into a database later on. OK, so let's start building the flow now. So for the flow, I have a trigger. Uh, the trigger here is when a new email arrives. I'm not going to put any filters here so you can put uh, you know if it's only with attachments you can use that there are so many options here and also if you want to track something in a subject line you can put some particular text so that means it is going to check the text contains and so and so okay All right so next step I'm going to do here is I need to get the uh, because it's an HTML text uh, I need to convert it into a plain text so for that content conversion html to text so here i'm going to map the email body so body of the email body of the message okay so once that's done the next step is i'm going to uh, we need to extract the each uh, values from the every line of the body so for that i need to use a split so split needed delimiters so here I'm going to use the delimiter as enter key here and place the cursor inside and press the enter key. Okay, that's done. Next step, I'm going to add a compose again. And under the compose, I'm going to use the split expression. So split, then splitting the HTML text, uh, the plain text using the delimiter, which is the enter key. Okay. And here, I'm going to rename the combos to split body text. OK, so let's run this flow now. So I'm going to send a, send an email which contains the text. OK, so he, I sent an email and uh, the flow ran successfully. You can see here HTML to text and we got the plain text format from the HTML, uh, you know, the tax has been removed. The next step is the enter key and I'm going to use the split here. So the split, what it done is uh, it has split the elements with the de delimiter as the enter key. So remember, this is an array now. So in the array, you got the index. This is the first index. So let's let, let's extract the first value, which is FYQ. OK, and you can see here colon. There is a space also here. So the technique to get this value here is I'm going to add another compose. And rename this to FYQ. Then here, the function, I'm going to use the split again and split the value from the body text output, output of that, the previous step. And then the delimiter is FYQ colon space. Or another way you can do is because uh, I can see there is a colon there with the space also you can do it. It's two different ways you can do it. So I'm going to stick with colon with the space. Okay, let's run this again and see what we are going to get. Oh, my flow failed. So the reason for the failure here is... Um, oh, from the output, uh, I need to define the index. So the first value I'm after. Remember the first line which contains FIQ. So I need to put a square bracket zero with the index. So that's the syntax I need. I'll put the expression below in my video. Okay. So, okay. Now let's run the test again. Right. It ran successfully. So you can see, you know, that was the first index. So we need to specify the index. And uh, I can see that's been split into to another, you know, uh, another array now so this is again it's only two here 
uh, then I can use the first or the last expression here. So in, in, in this case, if you want to extract this value, we, I need to use the last expression. If I want to, if I want to get this, this value, I need to use the first expression. So for that, I could use another, ex, another uh, uh, you know, the uh, combos. But here, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the last of that value. Okay, so let's run again and see what we are going to get. Okay, flow ran successfully. Here it is. So we got the value now. So remember, that's the first value then. Now we want to get the customer name also. So this index is, so index starts with zero. That's zero, then one, this is two. So this is our second index. We need to use it for the customer name. So for that, I'm going to do another compose again. Then rename the combos name to customer name it's good practice to change uh, meaningful names and then copy the same expression we want the similar expression here again the only difference here is the index is different so remember the first line second line is blank i shown you earlier in the split body text so zero one the next one is two actually that's the index we want here okay and uh, let's run the test again Right, floor and successfully, here it is, ABC Inc. So that's what we got. So zero, one, we skipped, this is a second dex. Now the fourth one to get the EE count is exactly the same way, you need to, we need to do it. So to get the EE count, I'm going to add another compose and rename that to EE count. Then copy the expression and use the fourth one remember the third one is the blank line which we don't want to use that okay so let's try that okay flow ran successfully the e count is 420 as you can see here these are the values we are getting now so abc inc we got earlier and uh, the earlier value f Double two Q two also we got the E count is 420. So you can see here, these are the values we are extracting it. So this is a technique you need to use to extract the values. Remember, you need to have a fixed format in your email body. Then only you can extract the values. Okay. Thank you for watching. Hope this video is useful.